1972 was a busy year in China. Among important political and historical dates, Sun Yan was born in Beijing. Then, in 1974, Peng Yi was born in Jiamusi. Both artists studied at the Central Academy of Fine Arts in Beijing, one of China's most selective, prestigious and renowned art schools. Here they both studied oil painting. After rising to fame as independent artists in the late 1990s, Sun Yan and Peng Yi formed a partnership in 2000, making art together ever since. This talented married couple have integrated unconventional materials in their practice, which confronts socio-political problems. Often using large installations that have incorporated technology, Sun Yan and Peng Yi make artwork based off of political ideas, like liberty, democracy and sovereign territory. Both Yan and Yu currently live and work in Beijing. Their provocative artwork has been exhibited since 2000 in cities including London, Rome, New York City, Sydney and Moscow and has continued to bring up issues of political authority, morality and social constructs. They have said that they hope to convey the conceptual world beyond its material existence and hope their work can break the bond of social taboos. Some of their works include Deer, If I Died, If Seeing Is Not An Option, Angel, 10,000 Years and more. Among these is Can't Help Myself. Collaborating with two robotics engineers, Sun Yan and Peng Yu designed this commissioned artwork to be displayed in the Guggenheim Museum in 2016. In this artwork, Yan and Yu use an industrial robot visual recognition sensors, and software systems to scrutinise our increasingly automated world Can I help you find something? where territories are controlled mechanically and the relationship between people and AI is changing rapidly. Almost a digital dictatorship. Boxed between four clear acrylic walls, this robot's duty is to confine a blood-like substance made from cellulose, ether and coloured water within close proximity to itself. A wiper drags the liquid back into place once sensors detect that the liquid has gone too far. The engineers and artists design 32 actions for the arm. They name these movements bow and shake and scratch and itch among others. This was to personify the machine. It seems to metamorphosize into a living being that is trapped in the walls. Sun Yang and Peng Yu are known to use dark humour when addressing controversial subjects, which is shown through the almost comedic labels of the machine's motions. In this case, the controversial subject surrounds migration and sovereignty. The artists try to portray their ideas through the robot's futile and Sisyphean task to collect the liquid. It mirrors the violence from surveilling and guarding border zones. Its bloodstain-like marks accumulate and illustrate the progressively aggressive and cruel consequences of authoritarianism, engendered by certain political agendas which strive to make more borders between places and cultures. Here, the artists also draw attention to the increasing use of technology that monitors these environments. I love this artwork. I came across this artwork three years ago and it has stayed with me ever since. Technology plays such a large role in society today, but many are uneducated on the dangers of it. Although the machine does not have feelings or care that it is repeating its task, as people we relate this to human life, and we feel empathetic for this emotionless machine. Sun Yan and Peng Yu have created a machine with so many human qualities that, as viewers, we associate it with being human. When moving its arm, the machine makes a screeching noise, and I think that reflects the screams of people, those affected and marginalised. Yet as viewers, you don't know if it's the villain or the victim. Is it its own blood and its own screams, or that of someone else? The screams and the flow of blood creates an uncomfortable atmosphere for the viewers. We can't go through the walls to help the machine, so we just watch it repeat its task over and over again. 
When it was first displayed in 2016, it could easily swipe away the blood, and its screeches could barely be heard. Then, three years later in 2019, it looks tired and hopeless and rusted. Its screams were loud and the floor was stained permanently. It got weaker and finally stopped working in 2019, never having been able to complete its task and going from can't help myself to couldn't help myself. Yeah.